The red brick building of Eastern Market was built in 1873 and is owned by the city of D.C. The building was designed by Adolph Cullis, who was one of Washington's most influential architects. Over the years, Eastern Market has been home to many vendors, including jewelry, food, clothes, art, antiques, as well as many other knickknacks. While at the market, we spoke to the organization Imagine Greenware, and they let us in on what made them want to sell tie-dye clothing. Um, everything that you see on this table and that are hung up are 100% uh, nice. <laughs> organic goods. So all of these are 100% cotton, mm -hmm. and then it's printed with seaweed dust, which is a unique process, not done anywhere else. Oh, wow. Anyway, and uh, we've actually been doing a lot of trade shows and we sell to retailers. Now it's the end of the season and we said, you know, we have the inventory that, that's remaining. Why don't we go to the market since I'm here anyway every week? And we found As we were walking, we were also able to get an interview with a customer who was new to the area. So let's see what she had to say. I like just wandering around, seeing the dogs, seeing the people, mm -hmm. picking up stuff. But it's just sort of a nice vibe and atmosphere. As we were leaving the market, we ran into our fellow student, David Hahn, who knew quite a bit about the area. The artwork, um, if you go inside, there's the poultry, the fish, the, the chicken. Uh, there's the artwork, and there's a crepe place over there. There's all kinds of different stuff. And how would you describe the atmosphere? It's generally always upbeat. The weather's nice. They're selling Christmas trees, so that's got everyone in a good mood. Um, but it's always a good atmosphere, and I think that's partly why people come. RFK is a multi-purpose stadium that was opened in October 1961 as the District of Columbia Stadium. The stadium was home for a number of major professional sports teams, including the NFL's Washington Redskins, the American League's Washington Senators, and the National League's Washington Nationals, and most recently home to the soccer team DC United. It has also hosted international soccer matches in the 1994 FIFA World Cup, 1996 Summer Olympics and 2003 Women's World Cup. The stadium was renamed in January 1969 for U.S. Senator and Presidential Candidate Robert F. Kennedy, who had been assassinated. RFK was the first major stadium designed specifically as a multi-sports facility for both football and baseball. The D.C. Armory is a 10,000-seat multi-purpose arena in Washington, D.C. The Armory was constructed and opened in 1941 as the headquarters and training facility for the District of Columbia National Guard. In recent years, it has also become a venue for a broad range of events. From circuses to go-go's to even Irish festivals, this landmark has played a vital role in Capitol Hill's recreation. The Congressional Cemetery is a historic cemetery located in Southeast DC. It was first established by private citizens in 1807 and is the final resting place of thousands of individuals who helped form the nation and the city of Washington DC in the early 19th century. Many members of the US Congress who died while Congress was in session are buried here. Other burials include the early landowners, speculators, builders, and architects of the great buildings of Washington DC. There are also Native American diplomats, mayors of Washington, and hundreds of Civil War veterans. There are also graves and tombs for families that were not associated with the federal government. In total, there is one vice president, one Supreme Court justice, six cabinet members, 19 senators, and 71 representatives, including a former Speaker of the House, buried here. Not only is this a cemetery, but also a dog park for residents of Capitol Hill. Sometimes I On April 29, 2007, a fire ravaged through the then 134-year-old market. The fire was seen as an accident that led to $20 million in damage. The historic landmark Eastern Market had been tarnished and many of the residents of Capitol Hill were crushed by this event. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, who was a resident of Capitol Hill, immediately began looking for federal money to aid in the reconstruction of the market. The community banded together as well to start a donation fund 
that would help the rebuilding. On August 25th, Mayor Adrian Finti and DCPS Chancellor Michelle Ree celebrated the reopening of the newly modernized Eastern High School with a ribbon cutting ceremony. More than 50 students, alumni, and city school officials attended the ceremony outside the school's entrance where metal fire doors have been replaced with wooden doors that open to a grand foyer. The school, which began as Capitol Hill High on the third and fourth floors of a grammar school in 1890, opened at its current location in 1923. The cost was a groundbreaking $77 million for the renovation. The school, which has a capacity for about 1,100 students, was designed according to green building practices to conserve energy, water, and reduce greenhouse emissions and achieve LED silver rating from the U.S. Green Building Council. Capitol Hill received a new installment of 247 condos near the Potomac Avenue Metro stop. This new community is called Jenkins Row. In 2005, before the building was even done, people were buying the condos. The reason for all the purchasing was due to the different attractions that this development would bring. The grocery store, Harris Teeter, would be located at the bottom of the building, and there was the promise of other commercial properties. Once the building was done in 2007, nearly 200 people backed out of purchasing a condo due to a turn in the market. But as of today, Jenkins Row has sold its last condo and is fully occupied. The development also contains a Subway sandwich shop, as well as a gaming store, GameStop. The construction of these condos has changed the way this area looks forever. Overall, Capitol Hill is a neighborhood where you never have to leave. From restaurants to businesses, schools, recreation, and to a great community, this truly is a city within a city. Ooh, the world sees it rise when I gave the word. Now when